Hello and welcome to FPS Coach, my name is Ron Rambo Kim and in this video I'll be doing a full breakdown of one of the most unique mouse scripts amongst professional gamers. His alias is Twists, a professional CSGO player who was ranked the 12th best player in 2018 and the 9th best player in 2019. He has many world championships under his belt, and most notably played for Team Liquid and just recently joined FaZe. An interesting statistic is that out of all the CSGO professionals, he is ranked the second best pistol player of all time, which makes sense because he has a career all-time 62.2% headshot percentage. I'll show you a few pictures of Twist's grip, and then I'll break down the keys to copying his grip if you want to try it for yourself. In the description box, I'll leave a link to a video of Twist talking about his grip. The first step to copying Twist's grip is that the elbow needs to be slightly lower than the surface of the table so that the forearm is pressed into the table's edge which angles the forearm upwards so that the wrist is well above the mouse pad. If the elbow is above or even with the table, this floating wrist position is not possible. After anchoring the forearm to the edge, the next part is in my opinion the most important position of Twist's setup. He says that one of the reasons why he has such control is that he can apply a lot of down pressure onto the mouse pad, meaning the hand is not gently floating on the mouse, but actively pressing downwards. What worked for me is opening my hand as wide as possible with my fingers straightened and then testing different palm positions on top of the mouse by continuously lifting and landing. It felt extremely awkward at first, but after a few minutes, I was able to find that perfect resting position so that the weight of my entire hand was fully supported by the palm and the mouse. A good checkpoint is to see if you can control the mouse by just using the palm with the fingers completely off the mouse. If you feel your hand slipping or it feels unbalanced, then you'll need to find another palm position. The next step is to simply uncurl the fingers so that the tip of the middle and ring finger are completely bypassing the buttons and touching the front side of the mouse. A feeling that I like is slightly pressing the tip of the middle and ring finger towards my palm. You can only have these forward fingertip positions if the palm is also way forward on top of the mouse. For me personally, I prefer to have the tiniest bit of my fingertips touching the mouse pad, providing me feeling and feedback. So I actually had to trim my fingernails down as they were scraping the mouse pad. After about 10 minutes of tinkering and making adjustments where I felt comfortable and in control of the mouse, that's when I started to tweak the sensitivity. For this particular aiming formula, I had to lower my sensitivity from 2.38 to 1.73. This was a number that allowed me to hit my flick shots as well as accurately control the micro motions. Remember, this will feel awkward at first, completely awkward, so it will take some patience and constantly making the wiggles and waggles to the palm and finger positions. If you're able to find it, the grip actually feels really stable and secure. My two favorite benefits of this style is that the wrist is completely off the mouse pad which eliminates any rubbing and friction, and it also feels like my hand and forearm are working together instead of separately. Two honorable mentions who play similarly to this style are Stewie2k and Zaiwu, both world-class CSGO professionals. Zaiwu prefers his finger straightened with a more backwards palm position, but he does have his wrist completely floating above the mouse pad. Stewie2k, ironically, was teammates with Twists on Team Liquid, and they pretty much have the same grip. 